Good morning, and what a gorgeous morning it actually is. Um, I hope you don't hear too much crackling in the background because I've put the sunshade behind you. I'm in the car, and if I didn't have that on, it would just be like full sun. It is a gorgeous day out there today. It's so much sun. Um, it is going to be steamy, but at the moment, it is actually just really nice. So um, I'm about to go into work. I've forgotten my watch this morning. I didn't get my coffee. I, it's just been one of those mornings, but it's going to be a great day. We've got um, Santa coming to school today. I'm wearing my Christmas dress. You can see the reindeers on it. Oh. Um, I made this one last Vlogmas, actually. So I'm wearing that today because I've got to look festive for Santa. It's a pretty special day at school. So we're going to get this day done today. Um, when I finish here, I'm going to pop into the shops for a little while. Uh, there's a couple of things that I need to get and then head on home. I really need to do a bit of a stock take on what I've got for Christmas because I kind of, you know how you sort of think you remember everything and everyone you got to buy for and what you've already got. And yeah, I actually, I don't know. I, I think I just need to take a bit of a stock take on what I need to actually get, who I've got for, do I have enough, that sort of thing. So I might do that tonight, I think. Um, yeah, I might do that tonight. So I'm going to go into work and have an awesome day. And I'll see you this afternoon when I'm finished. And we'll get our first weekend of Vlogmas started. Um, I didn't end up doing any sewing last night. I wrapped the presents and then um, decided I was tired. So tonight um, we might do a bit of a book flip, I'm thinking. Maybe we'll do a bit of a book flip and have a look at um, one of the Tilda Christmas books and pick a, a thing out of that to make for the Guild Christmas party. So we'll do that. We'll do that tonight. But anyway, time for work. Have a good day, everyone. So I ended up doing a little bit of shopping. Um, I went to Spotlight and picked up a few things that I thought could help me make my Christmas decorations for the Guild Swap. Um, now, I haven't actually picked a project yet, so these are very general things, but I think I want to make a Santa. So with that in mind, I found some Santa fur strips. And these are just strips of fur, exactly what it says. Some, so I've got some Santa fur strips because I thought that that could make a good beard, a bit of a cheats beard. Um, I know it's a lot for that, but I think I will end up using it anyway um, because I can use it at school for school craft. So I got that. I also got some pom-pom trim just in white in case I decide to use that around you know, and some ribbon. How cute is that ribbon? So I've got some ribbon as well. Um, I saw this and it's a, just a fat quarter. And I'm gonna open it because I just think it looked really cute. So this, I don't think I'd be able to use for what I wanna make, but I will find something to make with this because how cute is it? Look, look, look. Oh, I really like it. So I got that fat quarter um, just because it was super cute and I saw it and I couldn't leave it there. It said, please don't leave me here, Nikki. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so 
back corner. And then I got myself some different reds. This one's slightly more red than this one. This is a deeper red, but I couldn't get the same. Um, but I don't know how I'll use them anyway. But I liked this sort of Scandi print. I thought that that could be really cute. And I like that it was small, a small print. So those, and then I wasn't sure if I had any good skin colors, which I probably do. And if I had a look, like honestly, the amount of fabric in this room is, it is basically like a shop in here, but I did get a couple of options in case we want to have a pale Santa or if we want to have a suntan Santa. I think the suntan one is a little bit more, more Queensland skin, isn't it? <laughs> um, so... Maybe we'll go the tan Santa. That's if we even do a Santa. We're gonna go have a look at the book together now, I think, and we'll pick we'll pick something together. What do you reckon? Let's go have a look. Okay, so this is the book that we're gonna have a look at. And it is another Tilda book by Tone Finanger, or however you say her name, I don't know, but um Tilda is one of my absolute favourites. Like I just I love it. It's it's just really cute really really cute and um i have i think all her of her books all of them i'm pretty sure so this is the one i'm going to have a look at these santas here i really like so we're going to have a bit of a look and see whether or not i'm going to be making these so let's have a look at the book together because there might be something else i'm just going by the front cover and yeah we'll see oh the snowmen are cute actually i like them so here's our our um santas um i really like them and i could totally do the um the fur beard couldn't i yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna go that way these girls are cute though, with their little Santa hats on. And we've got these hanging baubles. They're so sweet. I like those. Now look at these snowmen. They are like super adorable. I like that they've got them in the little cloche. They are really sweet. I wonder how big they are. I have to have a look at the patterns in the back. They don't look huge. And see all these little bits here. Often they actually have those so you can photocopy them in the in the back with the pattern pieces. Oh look in the little bowl of meringues. These are cute little candy cones. And the ice skates. Do you know I've only been ice skating I think maybe once or twice in my life. And I was a little girl. There's only one ice skating rink near us. And obviously there's just, we don't see like actual ice and snow, <laughs> not in Queensland. So it's a bit of a novelty. Oh, these angels are sweet, aren't they? Oh. Look at these little crowns. I reckon you could make those, you know, with that modeling clay stuff. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming along. I wonder if it'll stay away. And these are some paper craft gift boxes. So these are cool. And it tells you on each of the pages where you can find the patterns. So these are going to have their own pattern as well. Really sweet. Oh, I should have looked in here before I um, did Amanda's box. So these are the gift boxes, the Christmas bauble, that's the large. So it's quite a big size, isn't it? And all you do is you either trace these off or photocopy them to um, make your, here we go. There's the snowmen. Oh, they're a good size, aren't they? They are so cute. Oh, I like them. And things for the angels. All right, here we go. There's our Santa body. And our Santa head. 
I'm going to have legs. Trousers. See here, this is what I'm talking about. So you can actually like copy these and it says accessories can be copied using a photocopier on here. So if you went to like office works or something like that, they can't like decline you to say that you can't photo photocopy from a book because sometimes places will do that just because of copyright reasons. But this one, it actually states you can photocopy this. So yes, cute. All right, I think I'm going to go with the Santa. So we're going to do a version of the Santa. Look at this Santa. Look, he's got his little drum and he's got his drumsticks in his pocket. That is cute. I wonder what I could put in the pocket. Hmm. All right, I think I'm going to have a go at compiling some stuff to see whether or not I'll make him Well, I have done a little bit of sewing and I'm happy with my progress. I, I think I may have filmed some of it, but the thing is, um, I wasn't actually paying attention to where the camera was pointed. So if you didn't see any, then I didn't actually catch any of my movements. But if you saw some, then there you go. I did do some. I'm probably not going to sew anymore now though because I'm getting tired and I'm ready to just edit this day so I can put it out there for you guys to see but before I do that we have some advent calendars to open we're only opening two today because I'm going to be doing Amanda's on every second day on all the even days today's the third so odd day and there's um just two calendars but before I do okay I was on Instagram this morning, I think it was this morning, and I happened to see Natural Fiber Arts post, and so I'm not the only one here because they've had a post, and the post said to shake out your bags for your advents, and so I did. So in, in our little bags, gave them a bit of a shake, and inside that I totally missed, one for um, the first day, one for the second day, I have these two little stitch markers. Aren't they cute? So there you go. I nearly missed those. I wonder if, how can I get you to see them? They've got these little crystal beads on them. I wonder if you can, will it focus? It kind of focuses in. But they're really cute. So there you go. So there was little extras in there that I didn't even know. So I've got these two little stitch markers to go with my 
others i've been i've put my advent so far in here um other than my robin which now lives on my wall and it's going to live there forever i think um it's going to be up year round because it's just adorable and it just needs to be on the wall so it's that's its new home isn't it gorgeous up there so mm, look at that two little new ones okay it was just like getting a bonus today all right let's get these calendars done so i can see what's inside okay now we need to find number three because it's the third day today and that was easy number three is down the bottom here and it's little oh this one is a shower oil oh that sounds interesting that sounds like something i might use tonight is this the same or is this a different smell let's oh it's a different smell and it's heavenly oh cleansing and softening shower oil that is gorgeous that is so nice and they're good size bottles that's 50 mils that's a good size bottle oh that is so that is so nice i'm coming for a shower oh yay let's put you in there and we're gonna open number three let's open this bring the paper down number three bye spencer we'll meet you soon okay let's have a look i'm gonna open it up oh pretty that's gorgeous look at the luster on that oh so nice and that's very true to color <gasps> okay i'm gonna have a look in here now there is one in here <gasps> and it matches oh i'm gonna be more careful now when i open them let's see what these ones look side by side oh yes gorgeous <gasps> so pretty and i know another little stitch marker too how beautiful i'm ready to start knitting now oh they're gorgeous so lovely now i've bought yarn from uh, natural fiber arts before and it is like just beautiful quality yarn so i'm really excited about this <sighs> awesome there we go so we've got the next two up there it's the third already we're on to our weekend so we might have a little bit more to see hopefully i have got a little bit of work to do tomorrow but not too much maybe just a few hours three or four hours and then the rest of the weekend is free for sewing. I'm going to work on this because I want to finish my doll tomorrow. Um, I am actually going to make two because there's a work friend that I want to make one for as well. So I'm going to see how I go with making um, two of them at the same time and yeah, see how we go and see if I can finish two tomorrow. It doesn't matter if I don't, but I need to at least finish one tomorrow. So um, have you guys seen Tilda Patterns May before? They can be a little bit overwhelming. I suggest going onto their website, Tilda World website, because they have got so many free patterns, like so many. And I promise you, they're not so intimidating. I know it kind of looks that way and it's a little bit different the way you do it because the pattern pieces don't include a seam allowance. And there's kind of a way that is easy to do it. Um, maybe, maybe I should make one of the free ones with you guys one day. 
so you can do it along with me. It isn't so hard, I promise. I've done quite a few of her dolls. So this is one here. This is her retro doll, which is a cutie. And then what else have I got? I've got the dog over here. This is another Tilda pattern, the little poppy dog. Look at the tail. So it's a cutie. Um, like I, I've literally made so many, I can't even. The mermaid that I knocked over the other day behind here is another one of hers. That's another one of her patterns. So they're really cute. And once you wrap your head around the way the instructions are, they aren't so hard, I promise. I promise they're not. They just are different. Different to what you might be used to, but they're very fun to make. And they always are just really cute, always. So I have got other ones around the place, like a gazillion of them. Um, you probably could see a lot of them on my Instagram if you wanted to see more. But if you would like me to do a doll in the future with you step by step, I could do that. I could. Maybe I'm going to keep that in mind for a later date. But I am now going to edit this. I'm going to put it up into the big wide world and see you all tomorrow. So have a wonderful day. I hope you had a great, what is it, Friday. I hope you had a great Friday. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Bye. Thank you.